Hello everyone, Ryan here from iOS Mars. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys uh, just a quick intro, you know, just a quick demo of uh, iFretless sax. Saxophone. So, um, you know, as most iFretless apps, this is pretty much the same. Um, one of the main things that, that's a little bit different that uh, he's done here today is um, there's a solo mode in this. Um, we're, obviously, we can't have uh, two notes play at the same time, which you know is nice because uh, it's uh, a little bit more realistic. And then, uh, you know, you can turn on the, the gliss mode here and it'll, uh, it'll slide up to the next note uh, as well. So, you know, a couple nice effects. I'm hoping that they add these to uh, I fretless guitar and I fretless bass as well. Uh, sure, sure that he will. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. So anyways, uh, I'll show you some of the sounds here. Um, you know, this the, the first one here is um, just a tenor saxophone. <laughs> So let's try the next one here, alto sax. Let's move on to the next one here, our clarinet. bass clarinet You know, I think uh, probably this is the my least favorite of the sounds that uh, we got. One thing I should. You know, you, that's a pretty cool, neat little sound, but <laughs> it does not sound like a wind wind instrument. So there's our. Um, um, the baritone sax. Mm -hmm. 
Soprano. And then our last sound here is our synth lead. But you know, I actually like this one a lot. It is... Right on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the only difference, uh, you know, between this app and the other ones. Um, you know, there's a we can do the same thing as we do with the other ones, and you know, get get multiple sounds in here. So that's pretty much all I'll show you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I think you find it helpful. Um, you know, uh, if you're just going to use uh, any of the iFretlesses as a MIDI controller, you probably don't really need this app. Um, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure if the if the solo mode does work uh, via MIDI, but um, you can always set that via your external app, anyways. So um, probably not. But anyhow, um, you know, everything else is pretty much exactly the same as it's always been on all the other apps. So um, if you want to see any of the other functions, um, check out one of my other videos on, you know, iFretless bass or iFretless guitar, and it'll pretty much give you uh, an idea of what everything else does uh, here. All right, so uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>